Welcome to the World Radio Communication Conference 2023 here in Dubai in the United Arab Emirates. And I'm very pleased to be joined in the studio this afternoon by His Excellency Tori Lupu Fomulunuku Onisomo, who is the Minister of Communications and Information Technology for Samoa. Minister, welcome to the studio. Thank you. Thank you very much, Max, for uh, inviting me again. It's yes. very good to see you. No. And now I'd like to start off by talking a little bit about the fact that you, you made an intervention yesterday um, at the opening plenary, uh, talking about uh, the, the situation uh, in, uh, in your region, so particularly in Samoa, but also in the, regarding small island developing states. Perhaps you could tell us a little bit about uh, what your concerns are here at the World Radio Communication Conference. Um, thank you very much. Uh, I guess it's always a, a pleasure to be here. And uh, not only, you know, at an interview of your, your good self, but also at um, these um, conferences, uh, ITU conferences. This is my first WRC. Uh, so I guess um, from our intervention yesterday, it's always, I guess it was really clear what our intentions were. Uh, as stated that we, we, we need protections around our uh, you know the uh, the C bands and, and those um, part of the spectrum at which we are utilizing for our uh, uh, you know, emergency services and also uh, you know uh, around our, our Pacific islands you know uh, which uh, isolated islands around the, the middle, of the ocean, um, there's a need for um, uh, you know protections around those uh, part of the spectrum. Uh, you know, not only for our navigations, uh, but also uh, for uh, um, uh, emergency responses. Uh, you know, and um, and um, like like I mentioned yesterday, I guess uh, the technology. And um, uh, businesses uh, considers, you know, other opportunities uh, which we 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 are mindful of the, of, the, of where we are of in, uh, uh, continuous improvement in in, in in technologies, but also we need to consider set states uh, that need this this part of the spectrum for for um, the livelihoods and also for. Uh, security and, and protection but also uh you know in in, in terms of emergencies uh, so um it it's what we're here for it's what it's why it's important to be here uh i think only some more of the pacific uh, leaders are here uh, so it's why we you know early in the uh in the in the, in, the, in the sessions plenary sessions that we need to do what we did you know, uh, raise awareness. Raise awareness. Yeah. Let me ask you a little bit about Samoa and and about the the challenges and the opportunities with regards to radio communication there. What what are the the principal challenges and and opportunities in Samoa? Well, uh, you know, the, the challenges are, um, I guess, ICT uh, and and connectivity. Uh, the technology is continuously uh, revolving. Improving and uh, and the cost around it, uh, so um, you know it, it's hard to to keep up with the pace of te the of how technology uh, improves in almost every second year. Uh, you know, so for us, we you know it's now five G, discussing six G uh, coming. We'll never know the future, but at least we we need we need to keep up. Uh, to make make sure that we we are um, we're, you know we're not uh, at, a, at a risk of being left behind. Uh, so that's the the key element at this stage. Um, secondly, you know we need to improve in our uh, in, the, in the technologies that we're utilizing uh, from day to day, improving our um, our services capacity of our people, uh, and also secured. Um, Sustainable connectivity. Uh, just a couple of years ago, we've learned, you know, the you know the incident from Tonga. I, that was last year, at which the whole um, uh, island was uh, blacked out for for a couple of weeks uh, without any connectivity. Also, one of us, you know, um, one of the main 
issue with one of our, you know, main of other islands. They only, either they have one connectivity, only submarine cables, struggle with um, satellite connections. Uh, so all those uh, sustainable connectivity um, challenges, we need to make sure we, we address those as we, uh, you know, as we try to keep up with, um, with the world. Um, and lastly, the capacity of our people, you know, uh, coming in to conferences like this, we have, uh, you know, there's a lot to cover from our, from our end, you know, not only technology, but also the, um, the technician's capacity, but also the experts, the, the developers, the, you know, software developers and, and so forth. So there's always that need for us to build the capacity for, for people. Uh, which is, and many others. It's why we need to, uh, that we value the, the contribution from our partners, um, multilateral partners uh, like ITU, but also um, bilateral partners. It's always good to have good, genuine partnerships with, uh, uh, you know, through bilaterals, um, our, um, no, our usual um, friendly partners, bilaterals with like governments like Japan, New Zealand, Australia, the US. Uh, and, you know, a few years ago, we also had a, a partnership with uh, UAE through uh, Renewable Energy. And we look forward to those um, partnerships. Last week, um, the Samoa Agreement, uh, at which it was signed in Samoa, ACPEU, uh, partnering with the uh, you know, uh, multilateral partners, uh, which also brings value to and contribution to our, our small islands. Yes. While we've got you here, is there is there a message that you would like to convey to our viewers and listeners with regards to uh, your your principal objectives or uh, or what your hopes for the future? Let's say a few years back, you know, from the UN charters, you know, the, the message of no one's no no. No one is to be left behind. I think it, it, it's a, a message at which, you know, we need to uh, remind ourselves every now and then. Uh, looking at the conference here, you know, we were in Kigali a couple of years ago and also Romania. Only a few islanders were there, even here. Uh, I think only myself, the Pacific leader here. So I guess it's always good to um you know trying to maintain our region presence you know in, in every um conferences and gatherings like this uh there's a lot to uh to learn from these but also it's always uh, have a uh, a uni a unified uh voice together with it's, it's stronger together rather than uh being here alone uh, to, if I may say that, but you know, it, it, looking at our our region with the change, with the um, impact of the climate changes, uh, it's COP next week. So it's important that we 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 um, uh, the world to hear our voices, especially islanders, uh, several islands of the Pacific that are you know continuously sinking. To be to be exact, um, so there's a lot of um, impact, uh, indirect impact from techno from uh, development. That while we're here, we need to to raise awareness um, for everyone. But also, like I said earlier, you know, uh, find uh, partnerships. You know, one of the, one of the best tests for a society, it's how we. Um, you know, look after our, the most vulnerable people of our of our society. So that's a, a true test of our union, uh, how we can um, look after everyone. Um, I hope someone say, if you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go far, for, for, go together. Go together, yes. <laughs> Thank you for being with us in the studio. It's been a pleasure having you here as always, Minister. And, and thank you very much for your contribution. And thank we you. wish you the greatest success here at the conference. And look forward to catching up with you again very soon. Thank you very much, Rex. And all the best uh, for this week's 
conference. Thank you. Thank you very much. And if you've enjoyed this interview, there's plenty more on the ITU YouTube channel as well as our podcast channels. And uh, we've got more information on this at www.itu.int, our website. Thanks for tuning in.